There Will Be Boobs, movie reviews as filmed before a live studio audience. In the darkest somethings of awesome, there is There Will Be Boobs, movie reviews. We've got episode 7 here. The movie is Space Thing. It's 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 a classic. Yeah. This we we describe this movie as a a very realistic portrayal of boobs and their natural environment. You know, in 2001, the uh, American Film Institute named Citizen Kane as the greatest film of all time. They were wrong. They missed the mark on that one. They obviously never saw a space thing. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. It's pretty oh. pretty awesome movie. It's so good. All right, I'll go right out and say we gave this a D cup. Off the bat, no hesitation. Easily. Yeah. It's, it it's so poorly made. It's no, so no, low budget. No. It's, it's so bad. It's beautifully made, man. Right. Awesome. It's, I mean, in every respect. No technical it, failures it's, whatsoever. It's almost as good as the Bible. <laughs> it, uh, one of our favorite characters in the thing is uh, played by Bobcat Goldflake. He plays the retarded, uh, you know... Thanks to my uh, supersonic sneakers. They're just my mind! Let me see them, please! Ignite retrograde rockets. Ignite retrograde rockets! Ground starboard flat. Ground starboard flat. Starboard bank. Starboard bank. Hey, what are you doing there? Turn that off. Oh. Wait a minute. I never stand this at all. Was this all part of it? Willie, however, did seem to be enjoying it. On Taranga. On Taranga. Fight off for our planet. Run those rockets through the sky, boy! March out for our flag! Rah, rah, rah! On Karenia! I guess. Space connected off the star brand! <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty bad. He's pretty bad, but it's really funny. Um, there's some great special effects. The, the spaceship in it is... It's like a yeah. dust buster. <laughs> Uh, maybe a dust buster. I'd say a dirt devil. Yeah. I know you don't know much about vacuums. I'll let it slide. Um, I like uh, the. Uh, I do know the rocks coming about. out the spaceship. Yeah. Well, it it's not easy traveling topless through space. I guess it's hard to navigate <laughs> that way. Um, there's a lot of. The, it's a very high budget picture. There's some really. I mean, the set design. <laughs> Would I be able to carry it off? Just awesome. It's like the Holmes, San Fernando Valley. The buckets. <laughs> yeah. Um, they really the made whip. the Nevada desert look like outer space. It's it's really high class. You know, it's filmed on site in space mm. on an asteroid with a, a rich blue sky. It goes really far with just really long, drawn-out sex scenes that, that really no, have doesn't. no point and go nowhere. But I've got to say that this is the most important shot, the unifying piece for the entire picture. That really says it all. That yeah. really tells you I mean, exactly it captures, what it's supposed you know, to be like. The existential crisis, like you know, Camus style. in space, there, yes, That's with, with boobs. boobs. Yeah. So there you go. That's really it. Um, great movie, Space Thing, 1968. 
Go the year it. 2001 came out. We know which one of the two films. We know was who better. was uh, more influential. Space so science thing. fiction. Space thing. Clearly. Later, peace.